Kovit, aka Mako for Hitman Airsoft, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my new loadout. This is updated since after Christmas. Sorry it took so long to get the video up, I just needed time to get everything put together and edit and all that. So, uh, I'll start with the weapons my rifle, SR arm, and then I'll move from the top down. So, for my primary, it's a VFC HK416. It's a great gun. I have a review on my channel, or I will have a review of it on my channel soon. Uh, I have a replica EOTech on it. Magpul Rail Guards, Rankle Foregrip, Magpul MOE Stock. This is actual Magpul, not a uh, PTS. Full metal, very nice, smooth shooting gun. Attached to it, I have the Condor. I'm not sure what model it is. It's a Condor one point sling. And I just have it on the sling adapter that I bought off Amazon. It does not come with a sling adapter. I was not too happy about that, but it's about, I don't know, eight bucks. So, so not that much of a. Uh, not, it's not going to break your bank. I don't have a flash hider on here, it's over there. I'll just put that aside. This is my sidearm, same one as I always had, except the new paint job. The snake skin, as you can see, I painted my uh, HK416. Also, it was just black. This one used to be like a greenish foliage color. Did the snake skin on it. I actually did a lot of recent uh, snake skin, as you can see, with my helmet and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's now in snake skin. Same pistol, though. That is in the Voodoo Tactical Drop Leg Holster. Very nice holster. I'm looking to get a hard shell, so hopefully once my birthday hits, I'll be set. So, for eye protection, I have the Oakley M-Frames. They're just regular M-Frames, not the uh, standard issue. I don't know why I didn't get the standard issue instead of these ones, but I got these ones. Sorry that I keep turning on. On my head, I have an Emerson. No, not Emerson. Excuse me, Lancer Tactical Fast Helmet, and I did the uh, snakeskin camo paint job on it. Take it off and show you there. Underneath it, I just have a beanie that I made. It keeps my head warm. The snakeskin actually didn't turn out too bad. I don't know if that's in focus, but yeah, it didn't turn out that bad. And then I just have air splat, American flag sticker, and then, yeah, sticker, excuse me, patch. And then just the air splat logo. On my right side, I have my Contour 2 HD camera. Painted that snake skin. Uh, great video quality. I might do a review on that. I'm not completely sure yet. But if you guys want to, just comment. Yeah, let me know. This Velcro strip right here. Uh, I added that on, so that's that. Put that down. Uh, I'll take this thing off, because why not? Oh. Alright, uh, let's see. My vest, I, I'm pretty sure I have a review on it. If not, then I will definitely get it up. This is the Emerson JPC Jumpable Plate Carrier in Ranger Green. It's about 63 bucks. Uh, I have three mags, one of them, high cap in the middle, and then uh, a KWA K120 mid cap with a uh, actual mag Magpul Ranger plate around on, on both sides. This one's facing backwards for when I'm shooting uh, lefty. I can draw it just in case I need some more ammo. But yeah, the regular high cap has a black maple on it. On the top I have three chem lights and a random shotgun shell that's still in there from hunting because I use this vest for hunting. Why not? In here I have two speed loaders, a sharpie, and a little energizer flashlight. I have my comms. It's a bow fang. It's a uh, Baffing UVR5, oh, sorry, UV5R V2 Plus, so it's the 
uh, I'm not going to say better edition because it's pretty much the same, it just has chrome on it, that's really the only difference. It's a great radio, nice dual band radio, and it plays FM, so that's a plus. Uh, patch right here. On the side, I have this Condor pouch. It's just a little uh, uh, admin pouch type thing. I have maps of my local field right here. And then inside, I have Sharpies and whatnot, tools. I have a single team six patch right here. On this sleeve, I have an air spot patch. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my wish just cracked a little bit there. A uh, little carabiner for electrical tape right there. I am looking to get a uh, Fly 6094 play carrier pretty soon, so hopefully I'll get that and get my uh, loadout updated again. Yeah, I know, I updated a lot. Uh, hands, mechanics, gloves, love mechanics. These ones are kind of falling apart, but they still work. They're extremely tough. Finger tr trigger finger is cut out. Might as well. On the back, I have a Condor. Condor Hydration Carrier version 2, and that has, uh, I store BBs in there, extra pair of goggles for when I can't use my Oakleys, and then I also have two spare high caps for just feeding, and then I have a boonie hat for just when I'm done with my helmet. Uh, let's see, to my second line, my belt, I have Condor I don't remember what version it is. It's a condor belt. I think it's a condor booty belt. On this side, I have a Voodoo Tactical dump pouch. I really need to get a bigger one. This one pisses me off because it's tiny and everything falls out. I've already lost two mid caps and those are expensive. Like I said, I have my drop leg holster in my drop leg. I have Leatherman's. I think it's a Leatherman's Wave. And then I also have an Allen wrench for changing up the CO2 on that pistol. The pants are true spec 24 7 wear pants. It's nice because the uh, side cargo pockets actually have two mag pouches in each one. So I can, if I really need to, if I want to run really light, then I can just shed the vest or the belt and then take the mags out of the pants. The shirt is just uh, Army General Issue Massive. It's actually kind of nice. The Velcro is not that good. But that's easily replaceable. And then has zippered side pockets. Nice thing it has built in elbow pads. And I'm I'm probably gonna do a review on this shirt sometime in the future. And I usually run a Welco, just general issue general issue uh, desert boots with the ventilation holes on the side. So that's my update to loadout for now. This is Hunter Corbett, a.k.a. Mako, for Hitman Airsoft, signing off.